Hello, everybody. How's everyone day? I'm Mega Kid. All right. It has been quite a while since I last talked about game developer or game journalists, the shit baby in stuff where it kind of like they want to add in their stuff of race or whatsoever thing into the game along the line, right? So the thing is, right, um, the since like my last video uh, about them, I actually kind of like say that, hey, um, the best way is that they don't address too much issue. They move along the line or like just move on. Don't think too much, but before, like before even moving on, kind of like, apologize do a self reflection along the line and say that hey something that we did in the past we can't uh we can't change it but we'll try to improve ourselves for the better along the line and try not to do uh things that gamers doesn't like like i can't like say it along um like what define a game it's actually like it doesn't mean that a game developer editing their own games or idea and and having a game developer kind of like publish it along the line but the thing is right when you kind of think of the whole situation like what made a game like in my sense is like it's mostly at the end of the day the gamers all right i'm not saying that like, all gamers are good all right don't get me wrong i mean like it doesn't mean that the gamer can make their own game along the line they, they are but what define a game is always at the end of the thing is that a people who play the game um, not referring to like politicky game or what's other game, but what I'm referring in this case is just a game. It can be a trash box game, it can be a video game, it can be a game that you play with your friend, uh, but don't central stuff. Okay, we are not thinking about that way. But then at the end of the day, when you look at the whole situation, right, what define a game is at the end of the day, it's still the people who play the game. So when when you kind of look at the situation, does the developer who kind of want to add in their propaganda their own diversity their own whatsoever into the game and then try to force it on, upon other would it make other people want to enjoy the game because at, at the end of the day if no one played that game that's no that's no longer a game you know so it's kind of funny to see that how a game developer or game journalist having a meltdown like i have not been covering about this issue for the past few days because i want to see how much meltdown can they go further and i was really we wore the photo wheel apparently so what does the whole situation came about okay anyone who know very full well that um when a person start talking it, you can really kind of see when they are lying or when they are putting out like their weird reasoning or their own justifications the, the stuff around that you sometimes some people may find off-putting buzzer or whatsoever and the latest video by ref's son as well as hero hill son are uh, pointing out about game developer being like like so-called being caught out or like they can't stop lying so apparently one of the game developer I, okay one more discrepancy because you guys before you guys go and press the decide button or say that i'm saying all of them i'm referring to those developers that are creating issue okay i'm not referring to all game developer i'm only referring to some game developer if people say that i'm referring to some uh, all of the uh, all the game developer or maybe if you are a game dev who doesn't like feel very offensive that i'm referring to those people at the same thing as you take a note point call those people out because those are the people who are putting a smearing name on to the title called game developing that's why i will just address all exam data but i'm not saying to all of them i'm just referring that because there is some of them who are rotten a or evil a or whatever a you want to call them and they are the one who creating this kind of issue so understand that i'm not referring to all of them but at the end of the day it is still there you can't deny that they are still called game developer all right so bring that out of the way uh apparently there is one game developer who actually go by the name called um the la lontia i know they kind of like so she, she uh I, i'm not very sure about her, the right pronunciation of her name uh i always forget people uh people that i don't really like and the reason why is would say that i don't really like her is that in her video in her video she clearly stated that she doesn't want to have a team of 
any white people she she clearly said it herself that she don't feel safe of, with working with white people along the line despite that she is willing like she like so-called willing okay i'm not gonna say whatsoever because she seems like apparently she is willing to make sure that diversity is being added to games Diversity doesn't really add stuff from the game itself. It's stuff from you yourself, all right? If you can't accept white people and you create a game that doesn't include white people, are you trying to say that, oh, we are trying to make it all about other races? That is not really true diversity. If you come to any other country that have a true diversity, aka Singapore, if you go and think about Singapore, why would people in Singapore have good relationship and why is racism a bad thing in Singapore? Like, even if you go into full-on racism in Singapore, you can get arrested and jail, right? It's part of Singapore rule, their, their law. And if you actually take a look at their situation, can you get if you, if uh, can you get arrested for saying those kind of things in internet in Singapore? Yes, you can still get be arrested. Even if it's something that you say online. Because you have disrupted the, or the public order in Singapore where no racism should be allowed. Unless the unless you are being a bastard of trying to create more trouble in Singapore, then people will just kick you out of Singapore. That's what they actually want. But then again, when you look at the whole situation, right? Is this uh, behavior allowed? Well, maybe in USA, they do allow it, but definitely not in Singapore, apparently. So the thing is, what I'm going to say is that why would Singapore consider a very good example to be uh, used that true diversity in a way is that the Malay, the Chinese, the Indian apparently, as well as the European from what I know, is that the, re the reason why they, the four, four race can be considered a, like they can live in harmony in a way, even till now when you ha add in like uh, other, other races like Japanese or Korean and more and more people start adding into Singapore, why would people still live in harmony although um except for one different from one more race from apparently one country that i was told that yeah they don't really welcome them that much i won't highlight which country but then again that would be a new, whole new different random chat but the thing is right when you have so many different diversity uh, races in one country and able to live in harmony in a way you kind of can see why it would happen that that uh why would they say that hey racism in singapore is not allowed because they want to live in harmony they want to live in peace they want to prevent any uh issue of like what is happening in usa where black and white i mean like they are playing a game of chess from how i look at it because why black versus white so the thing is right at the end of the day is it a good thing or is it a bad thing mm, i mean like it depends on how you look at it but the thing is right it's really really interesting that how can people go along and say that hey i do not want to have a pacific race in my own uh if it's like communication error like let's say um if you are speaking two different language both people are speaking two language obviously you want to hire someone that can speak the same language yeah i can i can i can understand that but if you are but the thing is right in in like in usa all of them are speaking in english unless you're telling me that everyone is speaking in spanish or uh proskety or japanese along the line then maybe you want to hire someone who can speak english for you or is, un unless you are hiring other people that just because it, you don't want people to be what then that yeah i would just say that you are being racist a little bit i wouldn't say like entirely because the thing is right why i wouldn't say entirely is because they kind of like saying that maybe they have an issue with communication and maybe it's just that they they want to hire people who can speak a specific language and they they want them to maybe the other party to learn english as a base but then again for this case i would just say she is full racist all right she has stated in her video um I, I, I'm gonna tell you guys one thing. I'm not gonna show the whole damn uh, clip of her saying in Red State video, but that uh, Red, Red State Death video. I will let you guys go. I will link out all Red Sun and Hill Sun video to, uh, in the description below so you guys can check them out. I'm just giving my take, okay? It's just a random chat. It's just me talking, okay? So the thing is, right, at the end of the day, or uh, when you look at the whole situation, is it a good thing or is it a bad thing? Again, uh, it is in the skill right now is a bad thing for her
Why? Because she already perceived, she already perceived say that hey, I don't want to have white people. I'm going to ha have a safe environment. There is no white people along the line and yada 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 along the line. Alright, so it's just blaring to uh maybe music to some people, but it's just blaring to my ears. So just like how I just blaring to you guys. So the thing is right. What make it even more worse? What make it even more worse is that she later on, the game developer trying to move on and say that, hey, that is something that I say in the past. Uh, there is white people in the team. Uh, that there's no such thing of me hating on white people. I'm not racist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Along that line, and then it would be fine if it's not for so called a friend or <laughs> that call her. <laughs> I was like, oh no! Because, so as as highlighted by both Red Sun and Hero Hill Sun, that apparently there is a pers uh, a friend of the game developer stating that she has stopped taking a credibility and being careful with how she nav navigate public online spaces as well as not careful with her wording along the line and spreading some certain message. So, in a way, she also kind of like pointed out that Yes, she is a racist along the line uh, As well as that she is also well known for not protecting even her own team Like even when she, like, she kind of like this game developer go along the line and saying Hey, uh, I'm trying to protect my own uh, my 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 developer team, uh we are we are not racist along the line and uh what you see is it's something that happened in the past but uh but then when people call you out uh, a friend, a good friend a, even right now I think they may be just fall to the point of being acquaintance along the line, but if a good friend used to call you out and say that you're blathering lying, yeah definitely not very good for the whole situation. So it really kind of like from how I look at the whole situation, the way she is going up, um, I will refer you guys to check out Ref's some video and Hero some video to know more details. But in in a nutshell, it just basically she had gone full defensive mode, trying to uh like basically anyone who know the the four key phase to manners that I used to pull out, if you have not go and check it out later on in the video, but I'm just gonna say that they have fi like she had finally reached the fourth state of manners, right? Third phase was basically she keep up giving weird reasoning, trying to justify her situ uh, her situation, her action along the line. And she really gone to like she is a living example of the four key phase to manners, okay? She freaking <laughs> doing what I'm saying right now. So the the number four key phase, the final key phase is basically reject uh normally it's called full denial. I call it full denial. But in the nutshell, it's called rejecting alternative viewpoint, building a mental mental fortress and in a way she, what if, if if you guys are looking like at, at the way she is saying and the way someone is calling it uh yeah it's at that stage already so is she mad yeah i think very very much so because i will definitely use that she is a very good example to be used as a false key face to manner and i have to give my thanks to her. Uh, I won't give her thanks in messages, but I will just say that yeah, definitely she is. <laughs> so, um, if anyone to point her to this video or the four key, the four key phrase to manage, yeah, by all means go ahead. I'm not stopping you guys. Uh, but the one thing I'm doing actually finding interesting is that she is really going the rock to madness. It's just that the once she crossed that final line, yeah, no return already, okay? Because once you cross that line, it's down the cliff. Sayonara. She is mad. So, um, all in all, I would say it's kind of interesting that she had um point up like is she really like starting out with a lot of weird reasoning, uh, justification a lot a lot that people can't accept it, and now she is blathering, denying all the things she say, which kind of like brought the question like, is she contradicting herself? At this point of time, it's really like similar 
So, I mean, I, I, I'm not very, very sure about what she's thinking about, but if she's trying to deny her action, deny or whatever, if, even if there is a person who's saying that, hey, they, she, they are not at any diversity along the line, uh, she, 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 I, I think that she's, she's just not good with her wedding. Uh, dude, the thing is, right, she really kind of put it up in her video. What stay in the internet, stay in the internet. And even if she tried to delete tweet that she, bring negative view about her or negative impression about her yep she had already did the damage herself and i think the best advice that i can give to her right now is just apologize for the things she has said move on accept criticism and do self-improvement so that so that may and hopefully she will create better game in the future because the thing is right uh, not, not talking about games right it's kind of interesting that um a lot of people like they they, they just can't like apparently move on or and i i think that in a way it, she may not be just the only one creating uh like creating some sort of like issue along the line or move on along the line because the thing is like it, it's re like is she the only having the uh, is, she, is she the only one having a mental meltdown? Um, apparently not the only one. So as highlighted by Hero Hill Sun, apparently there was a game developer conference two thousand and twenty four somewhere where they kind of like gather quite a few game developer together and sit down and chat, and oh boy, they never. Fail to deliver the negative thing. That's it. So the thing is, right? Um, there is two interesting point that I uh rest on to highlight another things which I will highlight uh which I will give my date later on. But actually, one of the things that I kind of want to highlight about that apparently there is some game developer who is hating gamers again like i mentioned what define a game it is not only the game developer but as for right now it seems that game developer wanted them to be like i'm the game developer i create a game you play the game along the line and when some of the game developer like being called out for maybe adding um so-called stuff that gamers doesn't like or think they are the god of game i mean like it's really kind of as established by a lot of latest game where a lot of game developer think, think have the man, the feel mentality that hey i'm the game developer i create a game you play the game that kind of mental and that ego got way too bad personally i think it's way too bad okay to the point that they are that a lot of people are now calling them out and they are now having a meltdown if, and the funny thing is that it's a conference to introduce like new idea to games or trying to talk about things they want to uh, discuss as a game developer along the line and now they are using the conference apparently to say that hey you know what we should add in uh, diversity force force it down the throat of the game and we don't care don't about along the line or people thinking that hey maybe we should do this we should do that and then if the game starts that it's not our fault it's the gamer's fault because they are being too picky along the line so it's like it became from a conference to a rapping stuff i mean like i mean like it's fine if you guys are not happy and you want to call out some of the things that you guys want to highlight along the line yeah i can understand that because it's at times sometimes you, you won't like be sure about what what is the thing that is considered the latest trend along the line and game keep on developing uh at the rapid stage not saying like game developer creating game fast it's more like the taste of gamers change very very fast so at the end of the day if you think about it right what define a game yeah Definitely, it's not just a uh, game developer. It's not just a game company. It's mostly on the gamer side. And if your game does not sell, it will not look good on the company. Yes, definitely. But the thing is, right, often more than not, it's really showing that game developers are really out of touch with gamers all around the world. Uh, personally, I would think that it may not be just the game developer fault um unless they do a proper research i mean like if you go and do mar marketing research uh ask like gamer what is the game they like about past game or things they want to 
hopefully bring back as in the new game or maybe things that you want to improve in the new game yeah i think that would be a better option for them to do instead of like just sitting down whining and saying that big gamers are already keep trying to make us look bad wow But I can assure you guys that um, I don't think most gamers trying to make the ga game developer look bad. Well, sure, I can agree that there are some bad Rotten 8 in gamers' side as well. But when you look at the whole situation, um, is it really bad for a game developer to start whining instead of like accept the criticism and do self-improvement? Self E very very likely I would just say yes at this point of time because even for me uh who study game I can assure you guys I study game uh back then when I was young and I have went to game developer to like ask a lot of question um understand the concept of game creation along the line and the one thing I do know very very well is that in order to create a good game the one thing what you have to do is to improve the game and ensure what is the game that you're going to create will make the gamers play the game more even if the game is a short game or, or whatsoever if the game is enough to in time gamers to play the game that is considered a good game it doesn't matter whether the, the story not interesting whatsoever but uh the the gameplay is bad whatsoever if the game is enough interesting enough to let the player play the game and that is considered a good game if whether you whether it's there's like criticism for the game or people don't hating on the game on the line if the, they are if there are players who love the game that is considered a good game but at the end of the day Will there be people criticizing those games? Will there be people talking about the point of improvement for the game? Yeah, people give criticism, hoping for the improvement of the game. And if the game developer accept that criticism and improve on it, and maybe if they can create a sequence or another game and improve on the game it just means that there is a chance for them to success i mean like one of the look at one of the game developer scott coffin who is well known for his uh, for his work of fine night at freddy he why he why you guys have to understand that he had accept some criticism himself he knew that he's not very good in like many aspects but the thing is that when he finally accept some criticism like before final at friday before final at friday he he embraced one criticism on on the game before Final Friday was that one of the game he created is a so called a squirrel game, and that squirrel game people call it out. It looked like an animatronic, a machine, and Scott Coffin, despite as he lowest point of, and despite being one of the so a lot of people thinking that he's maybe he will be called a wash out developer, he embraced that criticism. He embraced the mechanism, uh, the animatronic thing, and he add that. He add that into Final at Freddy. He create four animal mascot and make a little bit of change to make it look like animatronic, to make it like a machine. And that became the jump scare. And that became Final at Freddy. And look at the success of that game till now. To the point that there is one movie out and one waiting to be released and more game to come and more book to come and the thing is right he embraced one criticism and that changed his life from how i look at it because the thing is right sometimes game developer you have to understand that sometimes and i know criticism hurt yes it's hurt i do i it's the same thing as like one of the uh things that i talk about do i like this like video on youtube no for one simple reason if people give me reason on why they hate it yeah i can understand that but the thing is right when you look at the analysis when if people give me reason why they hate me yeah i can i will accept it if i can change it for the better yeah i will try to improve but the thing is right if 
the game developer they can't embrace the hat even though when people are giving them the reason for it even when people are giving the criticism for it if they can't embrace it there's nothing for me to help them at all because the thing is right they don't want to move on they already built a they already went full denial they already have a freaking war against them and it's just like what the heck do you want me to talk about anymore because the thing is i talk about this issue for quite a few random chat already you guys can go ahead and check out all my uh check some of my video in the just search, just go ahead and check on the my channel just click on my at the bottom side you can uh you guys can see right right there yeah just click on click on my youtube channel and go to my video you can find quite actually quite a few of the things that i talk about game uh video game development about the sweet baby situation i keep mostly the same thing again and again i feel like i'm i'm, I'm just being an old man nag nagging and nagging the same old story every single day so the thing is right if you look at the whole situation criticism may hurt yes but if it's a good criticism that you can embrace you can use it and change it for the better then might as well just use it because sometimes hater can be your best allies whether you like it or not so at the end of the day um sometimes you have to look at a loss perspective like sometimes you have to sit down and think like what is the thing that helped to change for to create or maybe to create a good game often more than not you may be surprised it's not just uh criticism from the gamers or just because of the game developer it's just that everything come together to create a proper game you can you, even if you have a game developer creating a game for a game company if the game does not sell is that still called a game maybe you guys can write in the comment below maybe what do you guys think about that anyway uh one more topic before anything else so just sit I, um just sit down and relax a little bit more so um another thing that is that kind of like rubbed me a little bit of wrong way is that how so uh as highlighted by Reza, i'm not sure is it like the way he fully along the line but uh apparently the government are trying to protect world develop developer from extreme gamer which kind of like what the hell are he, is he trying to say so when i look at the whole situation um this is a little bit of situation that i may disagree from right so i'm not saying that i totally disagree all right there is a few points you do highlight that i do agree on uh basically about government trying to defend game developer and trying to say that hey gamers are the are the bad guy along the line um at this point right i would just say that most government don't ever play games tell them to play game you think they got the time to play game they they really just count at the, sitting down at their seat counting the money along the line or maybe just say hey you know what let's think of way to create more trouble for the citizen of our whole world yeah along that line okay so the thing is right asking a game like asking the government to protect developer when they don't even know the full story and they just say oh gamers are bad they are the the so-called the the uh degenerate of the society i think i mean like the funny thing is that, that gamers is really part taking part of the industry in a way you know i mean that there are streamers who are playing game and they are earning a lot of money than those gentlemen can think ever think of so yeah uh the thing is right it's really really bad uh when you have government who doesn't even understand the true purpose of uh gaming and they are just thinking that oh those gamers creating trouble for gamers are the bad the gamers are the bad guy the game developer trying to create better game for you guys um i think the best way is that if those work developer are the one creating more trouble and the government are trying to protect them yeah uh the question we have to ask is the government being fed some money to do the protection maybe but the funny thing is that if the gov if the ghost if the government is giving them money to protect themselves they are definitely not even good all right like why would you give money <laughs> so the thing is right at the whole situation the one thing yeah that is one thing i will agree with fresh is that yeah uh government should not be sitting down to protect 
one side of the like with, without looking deep into the situation it just jumping to conclusion without understanding anything and are they a gamer yeah definitely i don't think government are a gamer at all unless they i mean like sure there may be a few government some around the world that play games but when they don't even know the whole like the whole situation about gaming yeah definitely not very good i mean like just throw them tell the government to start playing call of duty or uh, fortnite or any other game yeah see how how they react i think i can show you guys it's not going to be very very good anyway so <clears throat> other than that it's actually kind of interesting that government trying to defend them but the one thing i would disagree from resident like he's saying that government are trying to protect uh one thing i would uh, disagree is that i'm just saying that um May just maybe the government are not aware of the full story. May, may, maybe this is just a possibility. I may be wrong, okay? This, so take it with a huge screen also and throw the side of the screen if you need to. But the one thing you have to understand that uh, I feel like there may be some sort of manipulation or gaslighting in this whole situation by the game developer or uh, government in a way to like trying to say because the thing is what they are trying to do is like hey uh game gamers are bad game is bad whatsoever along the line even though when games have already kind of like taken the world by storm in a way i'm not saying like entirely but if you think about it what brought a lot of diff like diff uh gamers from like people from different country in together game is one of them music Definitely. Manga? Maybe. Anime? Hmm. Possibility? But game have brought quite a lot of people from different worlds together. Let's say for example, if I say Genshin. People hate the Genshin. People play the Genshin. Along the line. But then when you have, like, let's say, like, even if you, no matter what, that you can't deny that there are players all around the world playing Genshin. And when you talk about Genshin, and people talk about like the team build the story the law whatever when everyone just sit down and talk about Genshin if, if, if I just sit down and talk about Genshin there will be people from not just Japan or any or maybe Indonesia or whatever country in Southeast Asia that will talk about Genshin I will also attract people from maybe USA Europe those people who also play Genshin as well so at the end of the day game does brought people from different countries together in a way and that is something that a lot of people don't see that is that is something that a lot of game developers nowadays don't really notice as well as a lot of government do not understand the importance of games because the thing is right game does bring people together and people just in like nowadays just join a uh, game company or game journalists along the line to create issue that a lot of people have have with them and often more than not you have to understand game is something that gamers play and if you adding propaganda to the game people will notice it people will call it out and whether you like, like it or not that is the norm nowadays social media is something that people will talk use it to talk about and it's it and, and the thing is right when people talk about it, if if the gamer journalists want to talk about it, I mean like sure they can go ahead and talk about it, no one is stopping them. It's just that the way some people just decided like especially some game the uh journalists along the line trying to talk about it and create a propaganda saying that gamers are bad, gamers are haters, gamers are whatsoever. When the thing is like when you look at the whole situation, it's just that they they are eager the game developer or maybe game journalists are ego are so huge so bad their pride is so glass that's not right but it's not like their, their heart is so like their pride is like glass yeah definitely talk about right so it's it's like once anything throw like if anyone throw a stone at that and they crack yeah it hurt them a lot apparently so at, at this point of time right i don't even want to defend most game journalists i'm not saying all game journalists are bad there are quite a few good ones but it's just that when game journalists thinking that oh i'm a game journalist i'm a journalist i'm gonna talk about things that related to game not wrong but when you add in your opinion when you add in your propaganda yeah there's something wrong already okay so apparently there is one game journalist apparently game journalist quote unquote the game journalist all right so the thing is right apparently um there is one game journalist that is 
being like try his she, she resigned along the line from Kodaku and she just say hey I don't want to be part of the company you hey guys, you see, huh? I don't want to enter this company because they why? Because they don't they want me to write about games. Hey, I'm a journalist. I'm not a gamer. So let's be, 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 be. <laughs> well, I think the person was like happy, like, yay, good for you. Yeah, definitely other journalists who love to create propaganda or so-called journalists who are thinking that games should not be to not have along the line. Yeah, good for you. Definitely, I think it will go for her because she was expecting that. But when you notice, when you look, when when she look back, of uh, I think when she look back, there's no one behind her at all. There's no one supporting her at all. Be why? Because all the people who who is actually cheering is actually happily accepting her resign uh, her, her resign and hoping that she just move and, and don't come back into game journalism along the line <laughs> so the thing is right from how I look at it right I seen a lot of comment people talking about hey good one less propaganda journalist along the line and and those who defend her right people start noticing that there are people who is also creating some, their own sort of propaganda or adding uh, temporal along the line. So the thing is that at this point of time, I think she, if she really want to call herself a game journalist, I think it's more suitable for those good or other people or other journalists who defend her to be called game tabloid or tabloid if they are not uh, if they are not talking about game along the line. Because the thing is that at this point of time, it does not look good for them, alright? It definitely does not look good. So, all in all, um, I would say that the situation with them is just ridiculous. It's kind of funny, you know, in, in like in so many different ways. And how, like, how they try to, like, justify their action is really funny. But at the end of the day, do I think it's a good thing that she leave game? If, if, the thing is, right, if the company want you to create game guide, talk about games what is the thing that you want to look for in this game if that should be how a game journalist is you are you're not trying to talk about all the bad thing about the game you're not talking about how the developer are stuck i mean like if you are talking about journalists in a way yeah maybe you definitely you definitely need that but calling yourself a game journalist but when you are not any different from tabloid or journalist yeah there's something wrong already but the reason why there is a new term called game journalist is not about People wanting peop uh generally or uh, things to talk about game. Yes, definitely some people want to have interview about game or developer or how they think along the line. Yeah, definitely true. But at this point of time, right? Game journalists should also talk about how they feel about the game, how they how they think that they miss some uh like maybe, like how what is the things that people need to look out for the game like if let's say for example if i'm a game journalist and i i need to talk about um let's say genshin impact right so the thing is right if i'm going to talk about genshin impact how do i feel um the game like let's say it's a open world action rpg game that allowed you to explore however you want the quest there is no specific guideline on which one you do, want to do first so, but that it even though there is a specific one quest line that you might want to ensure doing then but if you do them you have to ensure that you you can be assured that exploration or any other side quest that you do will not affect the main quest in any form in any way along the line and that is something that i like but if you say like and then you want to say hey but then again um what do i decide about the game maybe the culture system along the line or um maybe some improvement along the line or maybe some of the quest is being locked behind some of the thing along the line like like if you want to criticize yeah by all means go ahead that is what game generally is it should be talking about game and games only you are not going to talk about just only game developer or gamers hey along the line if you talk about that that is just you're being a tap right now I'm not, I'm not saying that game uh games should not talk about uh, like game game pop news to not be talking about Tapro at times, sometimes a little bit of Tapro here there everywhere does go a long way. But if you start standing on the side, you're just a tap right now. Game generally should be a moment where I, if I say like let's say you continue me from the Genshin Impact, as much as there's also people uh there's a lot of people who enjoy the game, there is also a lot of people who is attacking 
Genshin due to the if the if the issue that the developer of Genshin Impact is not appreciating their gamers in any form. So if you talk about this way, right, it's it would like when people okay, okay, we understand now now you are putting two sides of the story and how the viewers will look will consider is the gamers fault or was it the game developer fault? You should not be saying like, hey, the gamer are being, uh, uh, is trying to create more trouble for the game because there was ever like that is just being you're just standing one side now. Game journalist to me at least should be a moment where you should not be standing at either side. There is no one should be saying like, oh, I I don't want this or that one that or whatever. It's like you should be standing on your own side. And even if you think that hey, um, you want to defend yourself, if you can't. If you can give other people criticism, you have to accept the point that you you are going to accept your own criticism. So the thing is, do I accept criticism? Yes. Do I have? Do I have to accept decide? Yes, I have to. But at the end of the day, if people give me reason about the for that, then go for me because I I at least know I know, I know what is the peop uh the reason for people to hate my situation or whatever. At least I know there is a reason for it. But for them, they already got the reason. They already got the understanding of why they got hate. But if they go full denial, you just get to the point of they are just been denying. They they just don't want to accept other people' point of view, and that is just they are on the path to manage themselves. So. Is it a good thing or is it a bad thing? There, there will be something for you guys to talk about. Um, Maybe you guys can write in the comment below and we can discuss it further. I know there is quite a few more things that I do want to talk about. But then again, I think that should be all for now. But the one thing um, that I mentioned, do understand that I'm not referring to all gamers. Alright, there are some game developers are very base. Good thumbs up. Good for those game developer along the line. But then again, there are again other developers who are creating trouble or other game developers who are creating trouble as well. So is it really full on gamer 4 or is it full on developer 4 i mean like sure there are bad a on gamer side but then again when you have the issue being raised and creating more and more bad possibly uh pr on the game developer and game journalist side yeah i think it's kind of obvious that the skill is really against them in any form and will they be tuned to the point of final line itself maybe yes Maybe no, maybe I don't know. There will be something for a next random chat. But with that being said, don't forget to press the like button and subscribe for more random chat where I talk about stuff that never follow a single trend. But do that. Hope you guys have a nice day or night. Bye.